You want to learn how to be a horticulturist? Stick around. Okay, today's trapping tip is uh, we're going to transplant some vegetation uh, it, it, to help us out. So. Right here, I've got a perfect trail. I've got this coyote sign coming down this trail, but it's way too open. As you look down through there, you can see there's not enough brush to conceal this snare. So what I'm gonna do, take my tree pruners. I've got a half inch rebar stake, and I've already pounded a few holes here. And I'm just gonna start filling those. We're out west, and so we're using sagebrush, but whatever you have, if it's weeds or clumps of grass or whatever, you just start transplanting these. You don't need a college degree for this. It does help, even though I don't have one. Like that. We're just gonna blend this in to where it helps break up the outline of that snare on both sides, all the way down. Pound one in. Just helps. Helps to where they're not going to be hurt by that loop. That ain't big enough. That was a joke. Let me grab a few more here. They're kind of special ones that I use. That one. It's frozen ground, these things will stay all year long. So now, if you get down on that coyote's level, you can't hardly see that when before it was just wide open. Hope you enjoyed this week's trapping tip, uh, bringing them to you once a week. This week, we're this one's brought to you by Reese Cooley and her stocking cap. Thanks for watching.